one of the big questions we commonly get in labs is how do we get a suture through the interdental space to start our closure when we do a mucoperiosteal flap and this commonly comes up in canine, uh, maxillary canine and mandibular canine extraction uh, where we do a sulcar incision back to the third premolar. So even if these two crowns were touching, there's going to be a space between the crowns that are under the marginal gingiva. So if we place that needle on the palatal mucosa, a millimeter or so on the palatal side and pass it through, or we can also go from the vestibular side to the palatal side as well, just passing it through and underneath the crown of the tooth, we can very easily engage the other side of that mucosa and make that interdental incision closure very simple.